toughest thing I ever had to do. Just, I was in a small farmhouse in Bird Island where I used to live. And we lived there for three years, then I found out, well, there's gotta be more than Bird Island and sold the house in Bird Island. That's why I moved to Bloomington. It's the bigger, bigger city just for accessibility because the poor town of Bird Island, you couldn't get into a drugstore, you couldn't get into a, a grocery store, I guess you could, but restaurants, everything. All that's kind of the main reason I moved to a to a bigger city. What yourself? Well, in, just in the beginning, um, the one thing I did, I learned a lot was uh, I got involved in sports. Learned a lot of the tricks of just the everyday living from you know, um, you know, urinary care and ball care and all that, and mm -hmm. uh, clothes you can wear, clothes you can't. Uh, you know, when I when I first uh, in back, it's actually not that far away from when you were injured. Uh, um, most of us were driving, at least the ones with the manuals were driving uh, manual wheelchairs. Were driving two-door cars to put right. the chair in, yeah. and um, started buying trucks with club cabs and minivans and mm -hmm. adapting. And things have changed quite a bit, but um, find that to be easier. Got to be a lot easier. Yeah, you got a what a blazer? I got a blazer, Chevy blazer. That works a lot easier than a. It's a two door or four. Well, it, I don't know if it necessarily works easier, but um, you know we have to deal with snow. Yeah. Last thing you want to do is get stuck in Minnesota in a you know, foot of snow. Yeah. But um, anything else? Uh, you know, when you were first injured, that um, you know uh, the a adaptation. Or yeah. The main thing you just got to get used to the people staring. I mean. I don't know how many times I can tell you, you know, they'll sit and stare at you. So finally, I just got bold and said, what are you staring at? <laughs> huh? Yeah. I just, that's, they continuously want to stare at you. And then not just for a little bit. They'll stare you from one end of the mall or wherever you're going to the other. Do you just want to? Uh, Probably the, the, the one thing that I uh, ran across a lot is, um, I, 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 I don't mind people ask me what happened, but, to tell me that they they know how I feel or they've been in a chair for two weeks and they know what it's like to be in a wheelchair. One thing I found out, your true friends will, will stay with you. I bet you I've heard 200 if, oh, if not more times, mm -hmm. oh, I've been meaning to come and see you, but whack, 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 I've been this, I've been that. That's a bunch of BS. I mean, if you wanted to come and see me, you could have made time. It ain't, and, and you know, it's also vice versa with me. It'd be a little easier for people to see me versus me going to see them. But still, your true friends I found out stick by you. They'll come see you for no reason. Mm -hmm. And they'll keep on seeing where, where the ones that weren't your true friends you find out at the end, they pretty much, uh, after the first year, the sympathy party's over and they, they go their own way and that's pretty much it. Yeah. I, I found that, that, that out to be a big thing. Or perhaps they don't want to deal with the disability. That's right your problem live with it yeah. it's sad to say but it's true yeah that's exactly what they think the one thing I don't mind doing though is talking to kids because they, oh, you know, yeah. they're curious and kids, kids, that's kids actually been rather easy yeah. kids, um, kids they don't bother me yeah they're always curious yeah how do you do this how do you do that or the, where the grown-ups you know they in my opinion should know better I mean it's but the kids of, of course are curious yeah. and I, for, for some reason I don't know why it is but kids seem to uh, be glued to this wheelchair. Yeah. They'll come and talk to me out of the blue and, and have, have no problem with it. Okay. Well, Ron, thanks for the ride. No problem. Appreciate it. It's been good. Being well, your neighbor over here, I'll be, I'll be seeing you again. Exactly.